Red tide remains present at, present at our local beaches, and the most recent report released today shows the algae bloom is moving north. Pinellas County officials tell ABC Action News reporter Julie Salamone they're working hard to keep the beaches clean. FWC releasing its latest red tide report Wednesday. State officials say fish kills likely related to red tide were reported in Hillsborough, Pasco, and Pinellas counties. Signs at the entrance to Honeymoon Island State Park tell visitors they may find dead fish. It smells a little funky, but everything still looks beautiful. They did mention that there was a lot of dead fish, and we don't really see anything. <laughs> We stopped by Honeymoon Island late Wednesday afternoon. The shoreline appears clear. Signs at Fred Howard Park also warn guests about fish kills. We spoke to two ladies off camera who took photos of dead sea life around 7 o'clock Wednesday morning. County officials say crews have cleaned up the beaches, removing the dead fish. Quite a few big mullet, lots of catfish, and then, like I said, I seen the one 90-pound tarpon that was at least five foot long floating. People may view the latest beach conditions on visit stpeteclearwater.com. Tap a pin on the map to learn more about a specific beach. As of Wednesday, the latest red tide map shows the bloom moving north. In Pinellas County, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.